take better the part and mind reading this one out. Of course I don't mind, sir. And your statement is, those on the actual left would defund capitalism. Replace it with a better system that prioritizes the needs of people and deprioritizes corporate greed, whether with democratic socialism or something else. A conversation for a different time. You ever hear Biden talk about replacing capitalism? No, he says he's a capitalist. No, that's because he's not a leftist. Now watch the conservatives lose their minds. Let me, let me just first say this, okay? I first believe in humanity, human beings, right? And if you believe in human beings, that comes first. You build an economic system around humanity. You build an economic system after you decide what the wants and needs are for the people that you want to support. In other words, you decide what type of society you want, and then you create an economic system that fits that. Remember, an economic system is not divine. It is created by human beings. We decided to create this arcane, immoral system called capitalism, and because they say, oh, look at all the great buildings, and look at all the money that it has created, not reminding you that it has really created it for just a few in mass, and not reminding you that most of the things those builders of capitalism build, they can't use or go into. They're, if you go downtown Houston, you have the biggest amalgamations of beautiful skyscrapers, precioso. If you go down to the Houston under, I mean, we got a lot of beauties, a lot of great things that were created that we can't go into. That wasn't really made for us. We built it from slavery right up. And that is what I'm trying to inculcate into people's minds. Don't buy the rhetoric. Don't buy the narrative. There is a better way. Free enterprise, not capitalism, free enterprise with a strong social safety net where we remove all essentials that humanity needs out of the for-profit domain and all the other things you guys can go fight about it in the free enterprise system we decide what kind of economic system we want and in that economic system you go to the hospital no problem you have a basic place to live no problem if you want more you you, you know it's a bifurcated economy and it works perfect, but do you know why they're scared to implement that? Because the fat cat sitting on the top. Their biggest fear, ask the Powell Memo, the writer of the Powell Memo, who realized America was getting smart. They want you to believe that somehow those executives up top are more than just parasites. These guys have the real gig to have the honor of being accepted to a good business school that teaches you capitalism's foundation. You get a chance to then be hired by the democracy. Wow, man, you're almost there. And you then earn the right with those two eventualities or being invited in to profit off of the labor of the masses. You get a cut of everything that they do. You know these great big high prices that we got for gasoline? The price of oil, crude oil, didn't really go up for the people who mine the crude oil. But these corporate executives, they went... And they salivated. They held on to those prices as long as they could. They held those prices high. And then at the end of the fiscal year, they said, wow, we got to get rid of all this money. Bonuses here. Bonuses there. Bonuses everywhere. And shareholder value. We buy back those stocks. Great. Only a few percentage of the population get into that. That was money they took out of that poor woman's pocket. That was money they took out of the pockets of all these people because they had price and power. They just took it and then they spread it out and then they think they did something. They didn't mine the oil. They didn't pump the gas. They didn't create the science behind it. But they're going to the bank. That's capitalism. And you know, those of you that don't have a pot to piss in right now and that are out there Oh my God, we got, we got to keep this system the way it is. Ask yourself the question, who are you fighting for? Are you fighting for your family, your wife, your daughter, your sister, your mother? Or are you fighting for some ideal or some narrative given to you by somebody who doesn't give a damn about you? That's what you're doing. They can paint it however they want. The fact that they do what they do is evil.
we spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.